um, no Debbie this week, just me, um, and it's not going to be about a narrowboat, so that's probably about as much narrowboat as you're going to going to see. This one's about all going to be about my new toy, my Hemiway Cruiser fat tired bike. So strap in, and here we go. Well, we're now off on our long walk round the uh, marina to get to the car park. Well, we wake. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times oh, We made it, Deb. <laughs> How long does that take? Um, 24 minutes. Um, um, 1.4 kilometres. So that's that's the long way round to the car park. So yeah. if ever we have anything big um, to take from the car, then it's on the trolley, long way round. Because the other way round, which is about 0.8 of a kilometre, there's a footbridge goes up over the marina. So this is a bit too heavy to carry. Yeah. That so over. this is gonna what I'm now gonna load up and take round the moor. So this is gonna make these little trips a lot easier. <laughs> Us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times, you and I can weather it. Right, so that's the bike unpacked. I'm now going to time myself uh, to see how long it will take to assemble. Everything's there together. There's two bolts to fit to fit the rack back on. Uh, the handlebars need putting on. Pedals need putting on the front wheel and the front mudguard um, so it shouldn't be too hard for anybody with sort of average DIY skills. We've got a fancy little multi-tool I don't know whether there'll be all the things on here that I need socket set, spanners, allen keys but we shall see I've got plenty of other tools on the boat. This isn't a how-to video um, let's have a look we should have yeah, in the little booklet they give, there's a big selection section on the assembly. It tells you how to put everything together. Whether I'll need to refer to that, I don't know. I don't think I will, but uh, I could be wrong. The time now is 10 to 2. So we shall uh, see how long this takes me. So, as I said, um, not how to, but how I do. If you're unsure, refer to the uh, manual or get in touch with the um, supplier. I think first things I'm going to do, this is the order that I'm going to do it in. don't know whether that's the right order. I'm going to flip the handlebars up, put those on, get the front wheel on, um, front mud guard, pedals, and last two bolts on the rack. So that shouldn't take too long. Something I do remember from many moons ago, you have a a left and a right hand pedal. Um, you just got to make sure you get those in the right way. Well, the 
we go. Just short of half an hour. Yeah, so straight out of the box, 30 minutes to put it all together, nothing too taxing. And look at this, <laughs> the mug that Deb brought out for me. Yeah, so this was a, not how to, but how I do, um, assembling the Hemiway Cruiser. Uh, those of you who know me know that I do love an instruction book. So before I uh, fire, fire that up, I'm gonna have a good read through here just to see whether the battery needs to be fully charged first, whether anything um, has to be tightened up. I noticed there was various torque settings for screws and nuts and bolts on there, whether anything has to be lubed. Um, by the time I've read all that, probably run out of light today uh, to go for a ride, although uh, I've got lights on the bike, but hey-ho, I'll probably give that battery a full charge and uh, then take her out tomorrow. Sun's out so today, so uh, time to go for a bike ride, I think. Before I do, I'm gonna take you through a few of the features and bits and pieces on my new Hemiway Cruiser. And no matter where I put this bike in the garden, Alfie seems to uh, want to protect it. So I think he's waiting for me to make a little basket for him on the front so he can come out with me. Yeah, I don't know where to, where to start really. There's so many things to say about the bike. I mean, first of all, the looks. I don't think there is a better looking e-bike out there. Uh, just the the chunkiness of it, the robustness Just of everything it. Everything about the way it's been put together. Uh, the welds on it, quality welds everywhere. The Kendra um, fat tyres, they're absolutely awesome. Yeah, some pretty slippy, uh, muddy, slopey terrain around here. And I have <laughs> I haven't actually fell off the bike yet. I've got a, um, a little fold away small wheel bike just with no normal narrow wheels. And uh, around the marina I've fell off a couple of times on that. It's just, just so slippery. But with this, the, the, the traction on those, those wide tires are just fantastic. I've actually made some notes in front of you because there's um, bits and pieces I don't want to miss on this. Um, the battery on the bike, it's made um, by Samsung Stroke LG. It's a 840 watt hour battery, um, 48 uh, volts, 17.5 ampere hours, and it will give a predictive range of around about 60 miles on pedal assist, or, and this is where it differs, or 35 miles on throttle only. Here in the UK, you can't have it as throttle only. Um, there is a twist throttle on it. With the, with the twist throttle, which is here, that will show you uh, just how fast the wheel goes, which it will just propel it at walking pace. I think it's a walk assist feature. Obviously other places in Europe or um, in America, you can use it as a uh, just a twist and go, but here in the UK you can't. The battery um, itself takes six to seven hours to charge um, from flat with the um, 108 millimeter disc brakes, the stopping power is uh, phenomenal on it. I don't know whether you'd actually put yourself over the handlebars if you brake too hard, but that will sort of uh, stop very quickly. Yeah, the bike itself um, is quite a monster. It weighs 72 pounds, but it's got a 350 pound payload, so I'm not sure what my weight is. I do know what my weight is, but I'm not gonna say. But obviously it will accommodate very large people with um, plenty of luggage as well. Yeah, as you can see my last little trip I've done 16.4 miles on it on pedal assist and it's used um, just one bar on the battery yeah and this will display uh, various readings your battery capacity your pedal assist le level um, odometer speedometer watt meter and I've actually found under here I don't know whether you can see there's a USB charging port yeah so you're able to um, if you're into filming all your bits and pieces plug your GoPro in or your phone to charge from the bikes battery while you're going along if you look on um, 
Emiway's website and I'll stick a link in the description below. There's loads of accessories that come for this. They do um, some panniers to go on the back. They do a nice little rack to go on the front to carry stuff. Wing mirrors, um, they do wing mirrors. Now I ride a motorcycle, so even on a motorcycle, I'm always looking in the wing mirror. And I missed, I missed those on this bike. So I think that'll probably be one of the first accessories I buy for it. Um, then the panniers. So I can go off down the shop, I haven't got to worry about taking the car, I haven't got to worry about getting knackered in a headwind because um, the, the bike's going to help me get there and back. Now having never rid any other e-bikes, I can't compare it to any other e-bikes. If anybody's got one out there they want to lend me so I can compare, then I can do a comparison. Um, with this particular bike, uh, the motor's in the hub. I know some of them have the motor in that crank. Yeah, the particular motor that's on this bike is a 250 watt motor it's a geared brushless motor and that produces around 80 newton meters of torque there's five different levels of pedal assist um, and i suppose the best way i could explain it, if you're on level one you've got one mate pushing you along if you're on level two it feels like you've got two friends pushing you along level five you've got five people pushing you along and these seem to want to propel you um, to different speeds. Now I don't know if this is how all bikes work. It's actually taken me a little bit of getting used to to riding it. Um, again, like I say, I ride a motorcycle, twist the throttle, change your gears, totally different. You've got the seven gears on there, the Shimano gears, and if if you turn the uh, if you turn the battery completely off. Um, on grassy rough terrain pedaling this this is a monster if you want a proper workout do that yeah i wouldn't want to be a long long way from home and the battery run out because that would be one hell of a bike unless you was on tarmac and the road was road was downhill uh the front forks um on the bike suspension built into the front forks you've got a preload adjust and you can actually lock lock the suspension out. Now I think there's 80 mil of travel on there, so that soaks up most of the bumps. What I have found, because that soaks up most of the bumps, a lot of the bumps are transferred um, up that pole there and up into your bum. So I know you can get sprung seats. The seat itself is comfortable, lovely, lovely and comfortable, but um, I might look into getting a sprung seat, or I know you can get the, with the steep, seat stem you can get them with actual dampen um, into the stem now the battery is secured onto the bike via a key that then releases that that pops out and that is quite a monster itself that weighs a lot so that can either be charged on the bike or you take it into your shed your garage your home to charge it yeah I don't really know what else I can add about the bike I've tried to cover most things. If there's anything I've missed, leave a comment down below because other people read those. If there's something you've said um, I believe is wrong, again, correct me in the comments below. And pop over to um, Hemiway's site. This is the Hemiway Cruiser. They do five or six different models. They've always got various different deals um, on. Again, there'll be a link in the description below to take you over to that. I think I've said about all I can say about the Hemiway Cruiser. I'm now going to go and get my helmet, get my rucksack, get my drink and go and enjoy a nice bike ride. <music>
breeze, falling leaves, like the breeze, won't you blow on? Take a sip, on my back my grip. Well, seeing there was very little narrowboat footage in this video, it'd be rude not to sit in the well deck doing a well deck diaries video. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Any questions you've got, um, leave in the comments below and I'll try and answer them. If there's stuff I said that was wrong and you you know it's different, again, put it in the comments below. I would really appreciate that. And we'll see you all next week um, when normal servers resumes and it will be a narrowboat video. Thank you.